blockchain is certainly the biggest innovation in information technology since the invention of the internet 30 years ago. This gives us all, all of us on the global planet who have access to a smartphone, gives us access to this network effect. Just as online learning combines with classroom teaching to create blended learning solutions, these tools may be at their best when combined with human expertise and judgment. Because if you do not experiment, you don't know what is happening in blockchain, you're missing out on all the new opportunities as well. So try it out uh, and experiment with blockchain and DLT, because otherwise uh, we will miss the boat. For the accountancy profession, distributed ledgers might help with tasks that require better management of transactions in their recording and tracking supports these discussions because we truly believe in uh, cooperation and collaboration between business and regulation. We're at the very start of this uh, new technology. This technical innovation is going to take years before we see widespread adoption. And we should um, keep a balance and a pragmatic approach to reaction to the technology, allowing for the realistic timeline. Blockchain is going to be a catalyst for a paradigm shift in how we all are going to do business together, how we are all going to do transactions together. The sector needs uh, time uh, to innovate. It needs support from clients in terms of their openness to experiment with us. And regulators and other policy need makers need to work with us on our journey uh, so that, because we're going to a, a very different place from potentially where we're at now and we believe that uh, uh, the public interest will be served in the future by that, that stakeholders will be, interest will be served, um, but we need their help to do that. So these technologies offer lots of opportunities for business. Having said that, these need to be regulated, that everybody agrees. We have to start creating open platforms of blockchain to absorb the cost of the servers, of the energy that is needed. This is the only cost that is out there. Eh? The, the cost of the transactions, as I said, is going to the minimum. Mm. We have to guarantee the transactions. Uh, if something happens to the application uh, or your phone or your service, you have to, to make sure that cloud will help you back up your transactions. We have to strengthen the blockchain infrastructure for the success of the digital market union. Well, fortunately, here in the in, in Brussels, in Europe, the uh, institutions, Parliament and the Commission have been very pragmatic in their consideration. So they're not rushing uh, to over-regulate or indeed regulate uh, very much at all, apart from anti-money laundering. The, the technology is being allowed to flourish and blossom, and I think that's the right approach, giving it a, an opportunity to see what benefits it can bring to society and to citizens and to business. Uh, our starting point from the Commission's perspective is that we want to ensure that Europe is an open environment in which technological solutions in the area of financial services can be explored and uh, adopted. I think it's important that uh, all European institutions create more room for experiments because in Europe if we're talking about new technologies like DLT we are not starting from pole position we are starting somewhere in the middle and just like my fellow countryman Max Verstappen we have the potential to become the world's champion but we have to have the right environment, the right team, the right mechanics, so you have to have the opportunity to test uh, and to experiment.